Hi there, welcome to another episode. So the temperatures at night are finally starting to become warm enough to where my jalapenos here can go back outside, which is awesome. I'm really excited about that. Uh, they're already actually starting to become full of flowers because of the increased light levels that we've had over the last eh, month or two. So, but it's much better for them to be outside. Now it's starting to be here at night about five degrees Celsius, which is right around 40 degrees Fahrenheit which you don't really want to put them out when it's lower than that because um, they really get to a complete standstill. Ideally, it's actually 50 degrees Fahrenheit or about seven, I would say eight or nine, actually eight or nine degrees Celsius outside before you start putting them outside at all. But here that takes so long that I usually just put them outside when it's about five degrees Celsius or about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is actually a really great timing because they were starting to get some pest problems, uh, primarily aphids. And um, the minute that they start having issues like that, I really just can't wait to just put them outside because then, you know, the natural ecosystem will just take care of it, the problem on its own. So there's also a little bit of pruning I want to do, uh, primarily branch selection, taking out unproductive wood and uh, stuff like that. So let's go take a look at that now and show you exactly what I'm going to do. So here you can see some of that aphid, that aphid plague, or rather all the residue from it. It's uh, starting to get pretty bad, but you know, it's, it's nothing too crazy. As you can see, there is also a lot of new growth on here. See all these little tips and they all have little flower buds on them. I even have a itty bitty jalapeno down there. That's already ripe and ready to eat. It's very small. I mean, it's been inside, so obviously it's not going to be all that big. But uh, one of the things I'm going to do is take all these dead or dying leaves out. I just want to freshen it all up. I um, mean, all that stuff is just, you know, it doesn't need to be there. And I will also be uh, making sure that some of this unproductive wood like right here you can see that this branch is not really doing anything it hasn't woken up it's it still could you know it's not dead however i um already have very good live branches here and i would much rather take this out and just encourage this right here to grow so um that'll actually be, so be something i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna just come in and take that guy out okay so just like that and then I do have two branches coming in right here, which is okay. You kind of see it as a, a subdivision. And if you were looking at like bonsai, I, I sometimes apply a kind of like bonsai principles to this. It goes from one into two. So that's, that's fine. That's not a big deal there. So another thing that I want to be mindful of is when you have branches that are growing towards the inside here, which you can kind of start seeing it here. You've got a branch that's growing on the inside but I also have a branch that's growing in a better direction. So I just might consider taking this branch out in favor of this one that's growing out a little bit more. Um, I also have a branch over here. It's like some of these might not have woken up. They might have not gotten hit by the sunlight enough to uh, start waking up. So I'll probably give it maybe another month or so before I start really taking out stuff but if i already see new growth and uh, nothing on the older wood then i'll take that off uh, something like this little stub right there isn't doing anything just take that out and get in there just little things like that it's kind of a weird growth that's in there and i have another branch right beside it so I'll just take that out just to kind of free up the space a little bit more that kind of makes a weird bend but it's at the top so it's not too bad yeah, things that I'll look at is taking out these little branches they're just not going in a, in a good direction. Like right here, this is actually a pretty good example. It's growing in towards this branch here, which I don't like. 
I got this branch and all of its growth right there. So I really don't even need this branch over here. So try to get my pruners in there. I'm just gonna take that out. Yes, that does mean I'm taking off some flower buds, but you know what? That's okay. These jalapenos produce so many, so many jalapenos, it really doesn't even matter. So I'd rather just take it out now and prevent a problem in the future, honestly. So I've got a little bit of, you know, there's really not too much. But yeah, stuff like, stuff like this, just can take out it's a little branch and some weird stuff that, in there that I don't really need. These little leaves I don't like. I take little little things out. Sort of freshen it up. Yeah, I'll also spray these jalapenos down with some fish emulsion. Just to kind of give them a bit of a boost and also and also clean up the uh, leaves as well. All in all, nothing too crazy. Glad they survived. You know, this is um, third year here, so it's... Uh, pretty awesome this branch isn't really growing all that great uh, it's not really doing anything actually um, don't like this branch being right here there's nothing on the stub yet like I'm hoping that this will just spark back to life but we'll see yeah there's not too much pruning really left to do at this point it's uh, mostly just gonna go outside Yeah, this gets a little bit congested you can see it in here But they all have flower buds on them. That's always the dilemma. It produces so much growth. Especially this one. This one is always just... I don't know. Just on top of it. This one's also fine, but... The leaves usually are a little bit lighter in color. I always notice. And they get exactly the same stuff. So it's, it's a little peculiar. Anyway... They're just gonna go outside and I'll give you an update in a couple of months probably and just show you how insanely large they get every single year. Yeah, so I thought I was gonna do a little bit more pruning than I ended up doing. I just wanna wait a little bit longer and see where branches form and stuff like that. But for right now, just let them wake up and just, you know, go from there. I'm just still gonna continue on taking some of these dead leaves off, stuff like that. I'll give it a good shot of fish, uh, fish emulsion and spray it down with a fish emulsion as well to kind of get all the gunk off of the leaves and stuff. But other than that, that's pretty much it for now. I'm just gonna let it wake up and do its thing and whatever. It's gonna do a lot of growing. There's already a bunch of flowers on here, so I, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Till the volgende keer.